something I don't hear a lot about. Uh, here in the Midwest, I don't hear a lot of guys talking about red osier dogwood. It is a big buck secret, if you ask me. This particular farm I hunt, this was my grandparents' farm, it's an overgrown pasture. And I've transplanted a lot. I've planted a lot more. It's come up great. You can see right behind me here. These are only two years old. They're chest high already. If you got a wet area, this stuff will thrive. You don't need a tractor. You don't need a four-wheeler. It gets browsed heavy. It just keeps on coming back. It's incredible. I mean, look how they nip this off. Look at this. Perfect example right here. This is April in Wisconsin, and this stuff is getting browsed super heavy all around me. This stuff is chewed. Planted it off a main trail here. It is a big buck secret. Red osier dogwood. No tractor, no four-wheeler, no exp expensive food plot mix, no expensive fertilizer, no expensive Roundup chemicals to spray. Don't get me wrong, I'll do food plots, guys, but if you're looking for a cheap, even free, if you have existing dogwood already. Uh, habitat improvement as far as food and screening. Uh, it's hard to get both. I will plan an annual plot screen until my dogwood gets established. This is a perennial. This keeps coming back every year. It is, in my opinion, the best overall screening in woody browse for deer, including big bucks. So how great is red osier dogwood? Well, to give you an idea, I uh, before I hunted this farm, guy that's been gun hunting it, they would do deer drives for, I think he hunted it for 30, 40 years. And he has about 100 acres of woods. This is about a 10 acre uh, patch of dogwood with a creek running through it. And his biggest buck, he shot out of this little 10 acre piece. You think it's too thick for bucks to come in there? Well, it's not. I can tell you firsthand, I shot a really nice buck um, three years back, gun season. And I gave him overnight, I was questioning the shot. I came in with my wife and, and kid. We were tracking blood and it went right into this real thick dogwood. And we're sitting there talking and all of a sudden it sounded like a truck driving through that dogwood. We jumped him, he was bedded right in it. And uh, we seen where he was bedding and fortunately I never did recover that deer, but he was laying in this real thick dogwood. I mean, it is thick, but I've watched deer and heard them run right through this stuff. It's flexible, you know, they're big, strong animals. It's not like trees where they can't bend them. They'll, they'll, big bucks, talking 150, 180 inch deer, I've seen run through this stuff. Um, the giant deer I shot two years ago was walking through this with a the doe. They'll walk right through this stuff. As thick as it is, they got no problem going through here. They got trails all through this. Everywhere. There's a trail right here. I didn't even know this trail existed. Here's another new trail through this stuff. I mean, it is thick. Look at the browse. Look how they browse in this stuff. Everywhere in here. Trails. Rubs, they love rubbing on it, eating it. Uh, I don't know how many times this is, I treat this as a sanctuary. The only time I'm in this property is in the spring and early summer doing food plots, uh, land maintenance, uh, and set my cell cameras. And I don't know how many times in this real thick dogwood in here I've jumped deer. I'll be going out to put up a trail camera or doing food plots. And it sounds, like I said, like a truck driving through, crashing through this dogwood. They bed in it, and I've found their beds, found sheds in there. Uh, they absolutely love dogwood. Bedding, screening, browse, it gets berries. It's good for other wildlife. It's good for birds, good for rabbits. My experience, I mean, I just shot two back-to-back -back bucks in here. It's just a big... Overgrown dogwood patch, basically. Yeah, I've put some soybean food pots in here as well and some other work, but the reason they're in here is they feel safe because of all this dogwood. That's why the, these big bucks are in here. All right, we're out here. Beginning of April in Wisconsin. What can you do beginning of April? Plant some dogwood. That's what we're doing today. You can see we got a real wet area behind me. 
we caught a bunch of these dogwood clippings. And I'm just like you guys, I was looking online the best way to do it. You wanted about pencil size. So, you see they're nice and green. It's April here. They're just starting to, you want to cut these when they're dormant, it sounds like. And they're just starting to bloom out. You know, first couple weeks of April sounds pretty ideal. You can hear the frogs behind me. Everything's just starting to pop, so. It's too wet, too early for food plots, obviously. Deer candy right here. Woody Brow's big part of their diet. Good early April project. Looking for something to improve your habitat for the deer. Absolutely hammer this stuff and it's good screening as well. What's nice about it is they munch it and it just, it stimulates the growth even more. It doesn't kill it. Uh, almost the more it gets browsed, the better it grows, so. All right, we're gonna show you guys how we uh, get these cuttings for the dogwood. You want something real bright red here. You don't want the brown, <coughs> browner stuff that's dead. Nice bright red, about the size of a pencil. And take it at an angle. There you go. Simple as that. You're going to push it in about four to six inches in the ground. Um, whatever, you know, you want it firm in there so it's not flopping around in the wind. Typically four to six inches. I'll take these lower little branches off here and we'll get her in the ground. I've used the root, um, the root enhancer, I forget the name of it, but you can buy some stuff, you dip the, you dip it in there and it uh, promotes uh, root growth faster. I've done it both ways. I'm pretty fortunate here, I got some pretty dark, good soil, so uh, it doesn't seem to make a big difference, at least where I'm planting, I haven't noticed a big difference. Um, but if you're, especially if your soil isn't the greatest, I recommend dipping it in some of that um, root enhancer. Uh, stimulate root growth a little bit faster and uh, make sure those cuttings survive a little better. So. All right, so let's get this dogwood in the ground. So, super simple. My six-year-old is doing it with me, even my two-year-old. Grab it, push it in, find some bare dirt, push it in right above those nods that I cut, right there. Push it in about three, four inches from what I've heard. Get her in there, that's it. If you're looking for more screening or woody brows, dogwood's the way to go. April, got some time off work, wanna get outside. Do some dogwood cuttings. Screening, browse, it's deer candy. Deer absolutely love this stuff. I've seen it firsthand just from seeing the browse on it, not to mention I've watched deer browse on it. I mean, we were cutting this behind the barn and it was just trimmed. The deer had it uh, just devoured, even right up by the house. Uh, this dogwood, I mean, Woody browse is a huge part of a deer's diet. And this is one of the best woody browse that you can get is dogwood. Not to mention it provides good cover. And what we're doing here, <clears throat> believe it or not, behind me here is a soybean food plot. You can see my six year olds having fun in the water there. So this is a soybean food plot. I'll show you guys what this did look like. It gets really wet in the spring, obviously. We just got a lot of rain. And behind me here, we got an open egg field. They got it plowed up now, it was corn. Probably gonna be corn or alfalfa again. So to separate this big open egg field behind me and this soybean food plot on this side, I gotta stand right on the edge here, you can see. So we got a bunch of box elder trees. Here's our cuttings, all pencil thick. So what I did, I planted a bunch of dogwood We'll go along here. This is a trail I got for the deer and right along the edges. There's another piece. Spaced them out about every six six feet apart. There's good dogwood. Got some in there. Some in there. This is a scrape tree. 
so I didn't put one below there. But right over here, you can see we got a good grouping. Got a bunch here. So here's our food plot. Got a bunch of box elders and grasses and giant ragweed that come up. Here's a deer trail. So they enter the food plot into the big open egg field. As you can see, some fresh dogwood here. Right in there. And you want to put it in this cover too. It's shade taller and it comes up good. As you can see, I space this out. And in this cover, it won't get browsed so much because like I said, this is candy to the deer. And then let's look here. You know, there's our food plot. This separates. Nice tall one there. Some in there. Right there. So this separates. I'll show you guys an aerial. I got dogwood all along the edge here. Dogwood. 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 This is where we get the tractor in, so I didn't put any here. Dogwood. Dogwood. All along the edge here. Dogwood. So yeah, after you uh, get your cutting, about the size of a pencil, two to three feet high, uh, it's as easy as if you, um, it's called take root, the stuff I use. Um, I got pretty good soil, so um, I've had pretty good success rate, a little over 50%, I would say, uh, using this stuff. Um, probably yeah, 60, 70% using it, and probably about 50, 50 60% without using it. So, um, dip it in the take rut. I don't have any with me today, but you just dip it in and stick it in the soil. About four to six inches in. And that's it. It's not, not rocket science. Not like planting switchgrass, you know, or some of these other food pots. You need big equipment. It's as simple as that. So, it's about as easy as it comes. A little hard work it can go pay off big dividends uh, to get you to get that big buck you've always been chasing to feel safe um, give them some browse some good screening so uh, we went over planting the cuttings of this dogwood so now we're going to uh, transplant some bigger plants because I got an area that I want to screen off a little better so we're gonna get the shovel out and we're gonna dig them up by the roots and transplant some bigger plants we're gonna show you guys how to do that <laughs> to the planting site where we're going to transplant some bigger dogwood, not cuttings. So I want a screening to become established. You can see I got a soybean food plot behind me. My soybean plot. So I got dogwood screening the road over here, real thick. Behind me, this big open, see the road back there? I don't know if you can see. I'll show you drone footage. We got the road back here. So deer don't feel totally safe. We're gonna do some screening. Plugs right up to this creek. Got a creek right here. We'll plant some dogwood right along this creek. Screen in this food plot a little better. Make these bucks, these big bucks, feel safer in here. So every time they have to eat in this food plot, and the road is right there. Right by that big culvert. You see the neighbor's farm right over there. We're going to transplant some dogwood right in here to provide that good screening and food. Some more browse. Not that there's not enough dogwood in here, but mainly screening. Year-round screening. Not just an annual screening where you need a tractor, four-wheeler. We got our hole dug. <clears throat> oh, first 50, mid-50 degree day here in Wisconsin. It's been a long winter. It feels like it's 80. I'm burning up out here. Okay, so we got our Old Doug. It's a lot bigger than what you need to transplant, guys. I went a little overboard, but see, this one's still alive. You cut it and it's green. It means you're still in good shape. This one's obviously alive. 
these are all connected. Got some good green growth coming. This one is kind of, oh, I thought it was dead, but it's kind of green when I cut it. So we're going to take this big ball. It's a lot bigger than what you need to. All right. Place it in the hole there. And boom. We'll get her filled up. Make her hole a little bigger. Look at those roots. See how it's blocking off the road? We only got to go about 15 feet, so I'm going to layer them about three deep. And uh, especially when they bud out in the summer, they'll really be good screening. But even during the winter, uh, provide some good screening. So super easy to do. Shovel and some hard work. Uh, if you want, if you've got an area, your cuttings are good. They grow fast, but if you're, I want this area to be screened from the road. So if you're looking for something, lot faster and grab a shovel just dig a hole April or March they dig up real nice here we got this dogwood you can cut the roots in the bottom it's not that big a deal I planted plenty of bare root maples and oaks they'll make it you trim the roots it's fine so you can see this is pretty mature dogwood about nine foot high and uh, well, I'm out of breath. I dug it up. You know, you don't have to dig them this big. This is probably a 50 pound ball. Big ball and burlap. You pick her up, put her in the hole. There we go. That should be better. The root pin. Oh, I'm too deep. Save myself some work and plant a bigger one. Or establish this time of year, you can get away with transplanting these bigger trees like this. So take advantage of it, March and April. I mean, look at the screening it provides already. That's the road. Road back there. You know, that dogwood. It's already providing some good screening, so it's doing what we want it to do. It took me about 30 minutes behind me. Didn't take me that long. Shovels, some hard work. You're gonna, I'm going to have my screening this year already. Not to mention, good browse. One of the best woody browse for deer. So Expensive switchgrass seed. No expensive miscanthus seed. Just a little hard work where you got established dogwood. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. How to plant some dogwood. I know... I was thinking of what I could do this time of year in April and looking at different videos and I wanted to see visually, you know, um, how to plant this stuff, how to cut this stuff. So uh, I hope the video helped. Uh, if you liked it, please subscribe. I'd appreciate that. I'm not selling anything. I'm just trying to make you guys better land managers, better deer hunters, uh, create better habitat on your property so you can be successful and target that mature buck. And hopefully you get a crack at them, that big boy that you're always after. So, um, got some exciting videos coming up here. We're going to be playing some uh, spruce trees, Colorado blue spruce, Norway spruce, crab apple trees. A lot of exciting stuff here. So please subscribe and uh, you'll get notification when those videos come out. April's tree planting time, so we're going to be planting a lot of trees. Uh, stay tuned to the channel. Uh, subscribe, check it out, and you'll be seeing those videos coming up here. So. Um, stay tuned. All right.